Audio Jump. Hi viewers, this is Avinash Agrival. In this tutorial, mainly we discuss about the maize cultivation practices. In this video, mainly we cover introduction, economic importance, classification, soil, climate, growth stages, varieties, field preparation, fertilizer and weed, harvesting and yield. Firstly, we see the introduction. Common name is maize. Scientific name of maize is Gia maize. Family Poaceae gramini. Maize belong to the family Poaceae gramini. Chromosome number 2n equal to 20. Maize origin in mainly Central America and Mexico. And the maize higher classification is cereal crop. Maize is a mainly cereal crop. Now we see the economic importance of maize. Mainly maize is a cereal crop. Mainly maize is it is also called queen of cereals. In the cereals maize is a queen. Okay, food dishes like chapati, popcorn, corn meal and corn flakes etc. can be prepared through maize. Corn is used in cattle field and poultry. After the harvesting of maize, mainly the corn is used in the cattle feed and poultry. Green fodder. After the harvesting, the green fodder will be there. The green fodder, it can be preserved as silage. Mainly silage for the animal consumption purpose. Maize grain has vitamin A and vitamin E. Okay, vitamin A and vitamin E will be having in the maize. Maize contain protein gene. Classification of maize. Maize can be classified into seven types. Flint corn, dent corn, popcorn, sweet corn, floor corn, pot corn, flaxy corn. Based on the cultivation of the maize, mainly this classification will be there. Soil for the maize cultivation. For the maize cultivation, it requires well-drained sandy loam to silt loam soil. Okay, this is the sandy loam soil. It requires sandy loam to silt loam soils. Water stagnation is harmful to crop and at seedling stage. At the st seedling stage, mainly water stagnation is harmful to the crop and it reduces the yield of the crop. The proper drainage is must required. We have to maintain a proper drainage for the better growth of the crop. And the pH ranges from 5.5 to 7.5 is the best suitable for the maize cultivation. Climate of maize. Mainly maize is a C4 short day plant. Mainly it is cultivated above the sea level, like 3000 meter above sea level. It requires moist and warm weather for growth. For the growth, it requires moist and warm weather. For the germination, it requires 21 degrees Celsius. And for the growth, it requires 32 degrees Celsius. For the entire growth of the plant, it requires 21 degrees Celsius to 32 degrees Celsius. Temperature more than 35 degrees Celsius reduces pollen germination. Okay, more than 35 degrees Celsius reduces the pollen germination, means mainly like filling of grain, it reduces. Okay, temperature below 15 degrees delays silking and tasseling. Okay, tasseling is a mainly a male pot in the maize plant and the silking. Silking is mainly it is used to like receive the pollens from the tassels and it for the fertilization process. Fertilization process. And the rainfall, it required 500 to 750 mm for the entire growth of the plant. Growth stages of maize. Mainly maize having five growth stages. And the first one is seedling stage. Seedling stage starting from the 1 to 14 days. From the sprouting of 2-4 leaves. Okay. This is the seedling stage. At the seedling stage after the transplanting in the main field. This seedlings will be coming at, at the age of 2 to 3 leaves age. And the second phase is vegetative phase. 15 to 39 days. Okay. Mainly plant in the knee high stage. This is the vegetative stage mainly the plant in the knee stage and the third one is flowering phase mainly it, it refers to the like tasseling and it will having 40 to 65 days this is the flowering stage at this stage mainly the tassels will be coming and the maturity stage 66 to 95 days including soft and hard doubt stages okay this is the maturity stages at this stages the cobs will be coming and the tassels will be there and the silk also will be there this is the maturity stage and the ripening stage and the ripening stage is the last stage in the cultivation of maize 96 to 105 days okay this is the ripening stage at this stage after the completion of 105 days we have to harvest the crop varieties of maize mainly the varieties are long duration pmh1 and prabhat and the medium duration are kesari and the short duration are pmh2 jh3459 and the special varieties are sweet corn one peril popcorn and the composite varieties are Johar, Vikram, Kishan, Ambar and Vijay, Sona and the hybrid varieties are Ganga 2, Sartaj and Para. 
these are the some of the examples of maize seed rate of maize 20 to 25 kg per hectare for hybrid maize cultivation and the 18 to 20 kg per hectare for composites okay for acre mainly it around 7 to 8 kgs and the spacing is 20 centimeter between plant and row 60 centimeters 20 into 60 centimeters and the plant population is 60,000 to 65,000 plant per hectare we have to maintain plant population why because it will increase the yield of the crop and the seed treatment for the maize we have to done seed treatment with seed should be treated with baviston at the rate of 3 grams per kg of seeds okay this is the baviston and like that we have to first take the seeds and after that we have to mix this baviston and how we have to mix the baviston and we have to store the seeds or we have to transplant in the main field now we see the field preparation of maize okay first we have to select the field and after that we have to make tillage with the help of the MB plower to soil inverting plow 20 to 25 centimeters deep into the soil and with the help of the harrowings we have to make two to three harrowings and after that we have to level the soil for the good water holding capacity and after that we have to maintain a crop establishment is the key of achieving optimum plants okay after the tillage we have to maintain proper plants for the good establishment of crop we have to prepare a raised bed planting for the maize okay this is the raised bed with the help of the tractor we have to prepare a raised bed and transplant the seeds based on the varieties okay based on the varieties we have to maintain a proper spacing between the plant to plants and debil the seeds at a depth of 3 to 5 centimeters okay this is the transplanting method with the help of the man we have to transplant the seeds with the proper depth like 3 to 5 centimeters now we see the thinning and gap filling based on the thinning thinning and gap filling mainly the yield will be depends okay first we see the thinning okay first we have to transplant in the main field okay one or two seeds and after that like 12 to 15 days the two plants will be established at a one place okay first we have to select a healthy and vigorous plant and we have to remove the other plants okay the farmer is doing that, that step only the farmer okay maintaining only good plant and removing the the bad plant from the main field this is called thinning and now we see the gap filling okay this is the gap filling okay we have to maintain a proper distance in the plant to plant and where the gap in the plant to plant we have to establish a new plant this is called as gap filling okay this it will be practiced mainly on the 15 days age only okay it mainly increase the yield of the crop now we see the fertilizer application of maize okay first this is the farmyard manure and apply 10 to 15 tons of farmyard manure per hectare okay we have to apply this manure at, at the two to three weeks before of transplanting of maize it will increase the soil fertility and the same while it will increase the water holding capacity of the soil and the chemical fertilizers of maize are 120 kg nitrogen and 60 kg phosphorus and 40 kg potassium for the hybrids we have to apply both phosphorus and potassium and one by third of the nitrogen at the time of basal dose means at the stage of field preparation only and apply one by third dose of nitrogen at the stage of 30 to 35 days of crop and after the remaining dose of nitrogen we have to apply at the tasseling stage tasseling stage refers to the at the stage of formation of the crops we have to apply the remaining dose of nitrogen and we have to apply zinc sulfate at the rate of 20 to 25 kg per hectare and to protect from the white bird disease from the protection of white bird disease we have to apply zinc sulfate to the crop now we see the weed management in maize crop the maize crop kept weed free from 30 to 45 days after transplanting okay after the transplanting we have to kept free from weeds okay with the help of the woman we have to make the manual weedings two to three manual weedings after the 30 to 45 days okay to control the weeds we have to use herbicides like atrogen and simogen this is the atrogen okay 1 to 1.25 kg per hectare we have to take this powder and we have to mix in the 1000 liters of water and immediately after transplanting before the 48 hours we have to trans we have to spray in the main field to control the weeds harvesting of maize okay mainly when the cob turn into yellow it ready to harvest okay this is the cobs it turn into yellow it will it mainly ready to harvest the crop the seeds become fairly hard and dry having moisture less than 30 percent okay in the mainly this cobs having less than 30 percent of moisture content is ready for the harvesting of the crop and after the harvesting we have to keep dry the cobs under the sunlight till grains are dry okay like that we have to 
take the cobs at one place and we have to dry in the sunlight okay and use mechanical threshers to remove the grains from the crops okay to remove the grains from the cobs we have to use mechanical threshers and after the threshing we have to clean the seeds by winnowing with the help of the winnowing we have to remove the that particles or that in the seeds okay and the green straws are mainly used for the animal fodder okay after this completion of cobs we have to collect the seeds and the green fodder mainly used for the animal eating purpose now finally see the yield of the crop okay mainly the yield will be depend on the under the irrigated condition and the under the rain fed condition first we see the irrigated condition 50 to 60 quintals of grain in the hybrids okay 45 to 50 quintals in the composites under irrigated conditions okay under the rain fed condition 20 to 25 quintals for hybrids and 15 to 20 quintals for composites okay this is uh, all the complete cultivation of the maize